Boeing's M25 Stingray carrier-based tanker drone test has completed its maiden flight successfully on September 19, 2019. MQ-25 Stingray, also known as Tail-1 or T-1, took to the skies from Mid-America Airport in Mascouda, Illinois. Viewers may note that Boeing has already conducted several ground tests of the Stingray at its St. Louis plant. In the test, Stingray conducted an autonomous taxi and takeoff and then flew in an approximately two-hour-long predefined route. The MQ-25 Stingray's flight was overseen by Boeing test pilots from a ground control station in Mid-America Airport. In this video, Defense Updates discusses why MQ-25 Stingray carrier-based tanker drone will be a great force multiplier for U.S. Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. In October 2017, U.S. Navy released the final MQ-25 Stingray RFP. The competitors were Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics. General Atomics proposed Sea Avenger concept, which is an enlarged version of Avenger drone customized for air refueling. Lockheed Martin put on the table their Sea Ghost design based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. Northrop Grumman initially proposed X-47B but later withdrew, stating that it wouldn't be able to execute the program under the Terms of Services request for proposals. Boeing came into the competition with full-fledged prototype derived from its Phantom Ray demonstrator, which ultimately won. The design is powered by a single Rolls-Royce AE-307N turbofan engine that delivers 1,000 pounds or 4,500 kilograms of thrust. The initial contract of $805 million covers the design, development, fabrication, test and delivery of four Stingray unmanned tanker drones. Ultimately, the contract is worth $13 billion, as around 72 such drones will be inducted in total. U.S. Navy Captain Chad Reed, the service's unmanned carrier aviation UCA, program manager, stated, Today's flight is an exciting and significant milestone for our program and the Navy. This flight of this test asset, two years before our first MQ-25 arrives, represents the first big step in a series of early learning opportunities that are helping us progress towards delivery of a game-changing capability for the carrier air wing and strike group commanders. Dave Bujold, Boeing's MQ-25 program director, said in a separate press release, Seeing the MQ-25 in the sky is a testament to our Boeing and Navy team working the technology, systems, and processes that are helping get the MQ-25 to the carrier. This aircraft and its flight test program ensures we're delivering the MQ-25 to the carrier fleet with the safety, reliability, and capability the U.S. Navy needs to conduct its vital mission. It's to be noted that U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Brian Corey, the program executive officer for unmanned aviation and strike weapons, said at the Navy League's 2019 Sea Air Space Symposium in May 2019, Part of what we're doing by flying this test asset this year is figuring out how fast we can go. How much work can we get done on that vehicle before we build our first contracted vehicle? According to Boeing, T-1 received its Experimental Airworthiness Certificate earlier in September. U.S. Navy expects to have delivery of two initial prototypes from Boeing in 2021.
The U.S. Navy operates 10 nuclear-powered aircraft supercarriers of Nimitz class and is also commissioning Ford class supercarriers. All these have a displacement of around 100,000 tons and an overall length of 332.8 meters (1,082 feet). To give viewers perspective, it's about three football fields long. These are nuclear-powered, have practically unlimited endurance, and have been used to project power far off from the U.S. mainland. The rest of the world together doesn't operate so many carriers, let alone supercarriers, and hence several potential rivals of the U.S. are developing asymmetric means to counter the American supercarrier. Especially China and Russia have been putting in a large amount of resources on anti-ship missiles. China has developed DF-21D especially to target U.S. Navy supercarrier. DF-21D is an anti-ship ballistic missile ASBM, and is capable of targeting a moving aircraft carrier strike group from long distance. It has a maximum range exceeding 1,450 kilometers or 900 miles and is thought to be operational since 2009. DF-21D has hypersonic speed and can be launched from land-based launchers. It can carry a large single conventional or nuclear warhead of 600 kilograms or about 1,320 pounds. United States Naval Institute in 2009 stated that such a warhead would be large enough to destroy an aircraft carrier in one hit and that there was currently no defense against it if it worked as theorized. Russia has unveiled a new anti-ship missile named Kinzhal. It has a range of approximately 1,100 miles or 2,000 kilometers and a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound, in other words, Mach 10. The missile's speed, coupled with the ability to fly erratically, will make it very hard to intercept. There are still lots of question marks about the real-life performance of these missiles when used against a moving target like an aircraft carrier in a vast open ocean at long ranges. Also, U.S. supercarriers have multi-layered air defense as they always move as part of a U.S. carrier strike group consisting of multiple destroyers and having long-range AWACS cover. But even with these considerations, it must be said that the billion-dollar supercarriers are at risk when in range of these anti-ship missiles. To reduce the risk, the U.S. supercarrier will have to operate further from shore. The MQ-25 could have a massive impact on how the U.S. Navy operates in the future. Currently, the U.S. aircraft carriers have F-18 Super Hornet, F-35C and EA-18G Growler as the main strike options. F-18 Super Hornet is the 4++ generation multi-role fighter. It has a range of 1,089 nautical miles or 2,017 kilometers and a combat radius of 400 nautical miles or 741 kilometers. F-35C is the fifth generation multi-role stealth fighter. It has a range of 1,200 nautical miles or 2,200 kilometers and a combat radius of 669 nautical miles or 1,407 kilometers for internal air-to-air -air configuration. EA-18G Growler is a specialized version of the two-seat F-18 Super Hornet for electronic warfare. It has a range of 1,275 nautical miles or 2,346 kilometers and a combat radius of 390 nautical miles or 722 kilometers. This is where MQ-25 Tanker will come into the picture. With it, the range of F-18, F-35C and EA-18G Growler will increase, drastically enabling them to be launched from supercarriers that are much further away from the target and not in the range of anti-ship missile systems. The increase in combat radius will also provide much more tactical freedom when executing strike missions. Viewers may note that several F-A, 18, E and F Super Hornets are currently being used as small tankers for other carrier-based aircraft. This reduces the offensive punch that an American aircraft carrier brings to the table. MQ-25 will remove this issue as the fighter will be able to do what they are actually meant for. Overall, MQ-25 Stingray will be a great force multiplier for the United States Navy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section.
This will help us improve.